Holy fuck! We're going on a mission, so get your personal vehicle and head straight to your garage or apartment garage. Once you're there, pull up your phone, go to the internet, go money and services, and go to the Dynasty 8 real estate. Purchase any garage that you can afford right now, even if you have to sell all of the cars in your garage to do so. After you've done this, you then want to go check on the stock market. It should have crashed, because I bought every dildo that the game has to offer. After you've done that, go to Southern San Andreas, sort by price, and find the weenie issy. Buy that bitch, and then... Pick one of your cars in your garage to go pick the cunt up. You should then get an email saying that you have it, so go pick the cunt up. I went to my nightclub garage expecting the cunt to be in there, but it wasn't. So after calling the mechanic, I figured out that I had to get rid of my personal vehicle in order to get my weenie issy. And there it is, my opportunity at getting rid of my personal vehicle. Once you've gotten rid of your personal vehicle, you can then call in your very beautiful vehicle. That does take some time because it's so shit. Now, you may be confused at first, but it, it will all take place soon. You want to take this piece of shit into the garage that you bought and then get your weenie issy. And once you've got your weenie issue, take it to the southern fucking bitch face, whatever it's called, Los Santos Customs, and upgrade that cunt until you can't anymore. You should then be left with a Tesla. One of the fastest games in the car. Wait, what the fuck did I just say? One of the fastest cars in the game, with perfect handling. Once you've finished that, head back over to Los Santos Customs and sell it. We're here for the real vehicle. This bitch probably goes 20 kilometers max, but you want to take it into Los Santos Customs and upgrade the bitch until you can't anymore. And once you've done that, you should be left with an off-brand Mario Kart. Immediately take it for a spin. As much as I hate to admit it, this thing is actually pretty fun. You can go decently fast and you can't fall off it no matter what you hit. Like, you're unstoppable and I'm going to prove this theory soon. While I was out causing mischief, I discovered that gutters don't stop me. Which is important for later knowledge. I also discovered that going head on with cars won't stop me either. I can't fall off this thing and I don't know why. So, I kept testing my theory. If I keep head on in cars, will I eventually fall off, or will my go-kart eventually die? And I got neither answers. I also wanted to test the theory if I could go under these pole car things, and with some fine tuning, I did. The gutter's efforts continued to prove futile to my destructive behaviour. And as I kept cruising I thought, if cars won't stop me then motorbikes won't either. As I kept cruising around the streets of Los Santos, it became apparent to me that without anyone else or no friends, there's not really a lot you can do with this thing on your own. So I went out looking for more trouble. I kept thinking, if cars or motorbikes can't stop me, 
then maybe a truck won't be able to either. And as usual, I was right. After that, I ran into a fellow go-karter. He was chilling at the skate park, performing some fat ollies and 360 kickflips. I decided to join in and see what else I could get up to with this thing. After what seemed to be 14 hours, another player joined in. There were three of us and we both ditched that piece of shit skate park to go to the one at the beach. While driving this go-kart with the fellow random players that I met online, it became apparent to me that without high-level players or oppressor Mark II's or submarines that can fire guided missiles every minute, it was fun to just chill with other people without having to worry about getting fucking blown up or something. The good thing is that with the new heist update and the fact that a go-kart came out for free, most people will be doing the go-kart because it costs $2 million minimum to start that fucking heist. And this thing's free and costs about like... 100,000 minimum to upgrade. So I hope you will enjoy it as much as I did.